Okay, third example for today, series of one. So the series, the divergent series of one, simple, one plus one plus one plus one plus one forever. What is it equal to? Not only what is the sum, but how graphically can we determine that sum, okay? So when we uh, are dealing with the divergent series, first thing that we do is to calculate the partial sum. So the partial sum, Sn, equal one, one becomes one, plus one becomes two, plus three, plus one becomes three, plus one becomes four, and so forth, okay? So that's not a surprise, it's relatively, uh, relatively easy. The partial sum of the infinite series of ones is the natural number, one, two, three, four, five. So remember our convention, we start the index here, n equal one, uppercase n, for the partial sum and lowercase n for the series itself. So we need to represent that. So n is here. Here will be the partial sum Sn, and I should have represented here. That, of course, is like 4 will be here and 5 will be there. Okay. So let's plot it. So remember, always keep in mind, when you do a graphical representation of a divergent series, you not plotting those numbers, you're plotting the partial sum. So for uppercase n equal 1, we have 1 here. Yeah. For n equal 2, we have 2. For n equal 3, we have 3, 4, and 5. So it's relatively simple. Let's do what we've done before. We extend the value as a constant until the next one, but excluding it, so I'm using it like that. That's included, that's excluded. We extend like that. Here we extend as well, and so forth. So that function that we're drawing there, it's called the floor function. It looks like a, it looks like a staircase. And you keep on stepping like that. What do we do after that? Uh, we do what we've done on the previous example, intercept points. How do we determine the intercept point? As usual. So first we assume here it's like zero here. We assume there. So the first intercept point will be between those two here between the uh, partial sum one and the previous one deemed to be zero. Halfway through the gap, yeah. Remember, halfway through the gap, not halfway through that line, huh? halfway through the gap. Here the gap is here, halfway through, obviously it's here. The gap has moved here, halfway through is here. The gap is here, and the gap is there. So are all those, um, are all those intercept points aligned? Okay, you take your ruler, I'll take mine. Let's draw a line through them. It looks like they are all aligned for sure. And then we can draw a hash line going through all of them. So the next thing that we do is to draw the intercept line going through all those intercept points. Given that they are aligned, that's not too difficult. And we draw that line. So you do the same on your side. So that's the intercept line. Okay. I use the letter H, H of X. What is it? So we can see the slope is one. It's like a 45 degrees. So the slope is one. So A X plus B, A equal one will be X plus or minus something B. So A equal one. We don't write one X, just X. And then B will be the intersection of that line with the vertical axis, which is here between the zero and the negative one, which is, of course, negative one half. Therefore, the equation of this intercept line is X minus one half. Okay, let's make sure for X equals zero, we left with negative one half, yes. For X equal one half, we left with zero, yes. X equal one half, we left with zero, etc. Uh, let's take uh, this one. So for x equal 2, we want 1 and a half, which is 3 half. 2 minus 1 half equals 3 half. Yeah. So we have the correct equation there. So now, what is the value of that intercept for x equals 0? So 0 minus 1 half, which is, of course, negative 1 half. We have it there. Yeah? Yeah. So that value, which is the intersection of the intercept line with a vertical axis is nothing else 
than what we are after the sum of our divergence series. Simple? That's how it works. So that's why you are here. That's why you're taking that course. Intuitively, you say that when I'm adding one plus one plus one plus one, there's not a single negative sign. And if I keep on adding one, surely I'm going to plus infinity. Yes, you're right. You are looking this way. When you keep on adding one and one and one and one, you, the partial sum keep on growing by one. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. It will carry on forever. So you're looking this way. You're looking there with your eyes. You're looking in that direction towards plus infinity. Okay? But what we've seen on the previous chapter is uh, that those uh, sum of divergent series are actually like uh, arithmetic modulo infinity. Okay? So, in other words, the divergent series, we can write it like this, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, etc. And if I, if I use bracket, it's really to say that's one object, one, one, one value. It's equal at one time infinity minus one half. The one is nothing else than the slope of the line there. Okay? So that, of course, you say that adding one forever is equal to infinity. Yeah, for sure. Infinity equal one time infinity. But again, we are interested with the remainder modulo infinity. In other words, that divergent series, one plus one plus one, etc., is congruent to negative one half, the remainder yeah. modulo infinity. Okay? And that value, negative one half, that's the one that we're interested with, not that one. And if you note, if you notice, let me use the right there, it is y equal a x plus b. In that case, x goes towards infinity, y will go also to infinity. A is equal to 1. You can see the slope of the, of the straight line is equal to 1. And the value at the intersect is equal to negative one half. So the sum of the divergent series, we're not interested with the fact that adding 1 forever, adding 1 to infinity will add up to infinity. Well, that's obvious. What we're interested with is the reminder modulo uh, infinity of that, uh, of that uh, divergent series. So that's what we call the, the, the sum of the divergent series. So on this example, maybe the best example to illustrate what we mean by the modulo and what we mean by those equations. Okay? So when you say that if you keep on adding one, one forever to infinity, your sum will reach infinity. It is true, you are looking this way. So again, the purpose of this course is not to look this way, it's to look down here. Okay? So that's what you need to have in mind. That's what you need to visualize on the 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, etc., is that line intersecting just minus 1 half, negative 1 half, below 0, where Grandi series will have been here, there, 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 and there, and then the intercept line will have been the horizontal one and will have intersected here on the previous uh, video or two videos ago. Okay? So visualize what, when you're dealing with a divergent series and its sum, visualize what it's doing on the graph. Convinced? Okay. More examples to come. Graphical represent, uh, representation of the series of 1. So, series of 1, it's a periodic series. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. We keep on repeating 1 forever. So, we want again, as usual, to calculate and draw its par partial sums. That's the first step. So, the partial sums of the periodic series of 1 is quite easy to determine. The first one is 1, always equal to the first term. 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 plus 1 equals 4, plus 1 equals 5, plus 1 equals 6. So, really easy. Uh, the sequence of partial sums of the periodic series of 1 is nothing else than the uh, sequence of natural number. Let's have a look graphically. So, graphical representation, it's like a staircase, huh? it's like a flow function, we call it. So one equal, uh, at 1, we have 1, at 2, we have 2, uh, 3 equals 3, and 4, uh, we have 4, etc. And then we extend those lines until the next integer, like we have done on the whiteboard. Next step is to calculate and mark the intercept points. Uh, relatively easy. If we calculate them, again, uh, two consecutive partial sums, 0 plus 1 equal 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. 1 plus 2 equals 3, divided by 2 is 3 half. 2 plus 3 equals 5, divided by 2 is 5 half, etc. So we can see uh, easy how we can calculate those sums. 
And if we want to determine a function for that sequence of numbers, of rational numbers, it was relatively easy. Uh, we take the previous one, so start with 0, n minus 1 plus n, divide by 2. So n minus 1, we can remove the bracket, give us 2n plus 1, divide by 2. We can simplify that even further as n minus 1 half. Okay, so it's, that one is 1 minus 1 half. That one is 2 minus 1 half, 3 minus 1 half, etc. So the n minus 1 half or 2n minus 1, which is the odd number start starting from, uh, uh, from 1, because remember, we start numbering from uppercase n equal 1, will give us that sequence. We can see the numerator are the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and the denominator are 2s. So that's very easy to determine that formula like that. And we can plot that graphically. So on a whiteboard, we started from the graphical representation, then we determine that, that uh, formula. So we can see uh, halfway through the gap, it's here. Halfway through the gap between the head of a, a partial sum and the tail of the previous one is here. The head and the tail, the previous one is there, etc. So after that, of course, we link those, uh, we linked those intercept points. Uh, easy to uh, notice that they are all aligned. Once we have uh, the intercept points all aligned, it's very easy to move to step number four to draw the intercept line across all those points. So that's what we that's what we did. We took the ruler and drew that line, and we extended that line beyond or from one all the way down to zero because we want to see where that intercept line is intersecting the vertical uh, the vertical axis here. And you can see where it's intersecting here. And, uh, and uh, we determine the equation of that line. Huh? So remember what I've done on the whiteboard. I said, well, if we move from here to there by one, when we here, how much do we move, need to move up to catch up on a line by one? So if we move to the right by one and we need to go up by one, means the slope is one. So one times x. Remember, we are after an equation which is a x plus b because we know it's a straight line. So a equal 1 gave us x plus b, and b is equal to what? To the intersection of that line with the vertical axis, where, where x, we, the, the formula for x equal x equals 0. So we can see it intersecting at negative 1 half, and that's what we wrote down. 1x, so x minus 1 half, is the equation for that straight line, uh, 45 degree uh, intercept line. Step number five was to conclude that the sum of the series is indeed the intersection of the intercept line with the vertical axis. So where the laser is here, we can see negative one half or minus 0 0.5 is indeed the sum of the uh, divergent series, one plus one plus one plus one, etc., to infinity. Okay, we found it. Graph it, up. we visualize it. Okay. So that one you need to know by heart. That uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 carry on for forever, for to infinity, is equal or congruent to modulo infinity, if you want to, negative 1 half. And we can see here the uh, graphical representation of that sum of the divergent series. Great.